What's up guys? It's Min and Canadian here, and it's a sad day for us. Coastline is out of the map pool. You can't laugh, man. What? It's a sad day. It's a sad day. Coastline's out of the map pool. Good news for you guys. This is something that you can use in all of your ranked games. Uh, most people are not going penthouse, so this is something unique that you can kind of pull out and win 100% of your rounds. Um, credit to NIP. This is something that most pro teams kind of adapted and uh, were using near the, near the end of Coastline. So. We'll also show you at the end uh, a round versus TSM, uh, how it's actually played. And yeah, let's get into it. We got the rolls in one note here. First roll, a Rooney. Setup's basic. Gate theater door, you put barbed on white. You do gate guitar door, barb guitar door. Is it, oh, guitar to VIP. Uh, reinforce two of the pot walls by hookah, left and right of the door. Uh, rotate into banana from cool vibe and a gate on the hookah door. And that's to protect your shield and pot. Yes. Um, we'll go with the next castle, the big one. Uh, this is this is where you're going to start confusing people here. We got the BP, very important, on the front of the theater door. Uh, you know, gonna be calling all of sight here. It's also protected by the gate uh, on guitar door. Then you're gonna barricade your, you got a little bit of a run here. You're gonna barricade your VIP hall window. And then you're gonna run over here and you're gonna barricade your fish door. And then you're gonna run over here and you're gonna barricade your white window. You're gonna make some of these theater holes and rotates, anything that uh, Mirror might need, but you know, Mirror might be able to make, uh, make it as well. And we're just doing the setups here right now. We'll do the positions at the end. Um, we got Alibi. Alibi's gonna reinforce the two outer VIP walls. Gonna reinforce the books wall, which is by the, the left side, by the bookshelf and VIP to the hallway. Uh, we're gonna do feet holes across B2 to go to guitar. And then pent holes from 90 and a shield at pot. Yes. And then Wamai is your guy with the fit uh, on fish side. Uh, pretty easy, reinforces 190 wall, which is where we'll end up placing the uh, mirror window. He'll use his impacts to make these rotates into the side, um, so that way we can kind of run through. And then he'll also reinforce his two liquor walls, and then playing by fish. Yep, and mirror is the final one. This is the role I played. Um, you can also swap this off out sometimes, but uh, you want to have a C4 in theater for sure. Uh, you reinforce one back theater wall, board two luggage windows. Uh, you do a mirror window at 90, and then a mirror window in sight, uh, left side theater probably, or actually right side, sorry, um, on the soft wall. And then you uh, prep your theater castle barricade, which is eight hits, just so that you can one punch it when you want to be able to throw a C4 through it. So overall, I think like coastline, it's kind of well known that it's an attacker side in map, and the only way to like really con contest with that on defense is kind of spreading out and kind of contesting the entries. Yep. Um, so most of the strats on this map are usually like, yeah, anywhere like an attacker can enter, you're pretty much trying to isolate them, getting a one-on-one, -on -one, trying to uh, make it so by the time they get to the site, it's like a 3v3 or something a little bit more scrappy that you have a chance to win. Um, that C4 in sight that we mentioned was kind of like, I would say almost like the last resort um, if they get into the plant spot, which was usually close to the window. Um, Mira's able to, you know, cross to the to the left side of the room, kind of like throw it, maybe bust through the window or the door if you had to. Um, but other than that, you're usually trying to. All the blue on here is all the sight lines and rotates that we made, and as you can see, we're running four 1.5 sites. I mean, optional on a Rooney, I guess, if you wanted to run the Rooney, but uh, for us, we were running all one and a half time sites, just so we're able to help through every single, you know, uh, blue sight line, and we're trying to contest before they can even get to the window. There's usually two iterations of how teams kind of attack this. Obviously, there's that's generalizing it, but either teams try to take the full top floor control, coming from hookah and fish, and probably downstairs a bit, or they just go straight to the VIP balcony. Like Kyle mentioned, you want to contest entries. You want to do it more so for when teams are trying to enter on the hookah and fish side and stuff like that. If they're entering VIP side, there's not much you can do if they open the wall, 
they're probably going to be able to take it. So you're going to play a bit more back, but that's when the sight lines come into advantage because now, because they're only clearing from VIP, your Wamai has the ability to play the long angles through those blue sight lines from Liquor. Your Alibi is safer at 90. Your Castle is safer around 90 as well. And basically your job as the Mira in theater is you're kind of staying alive and keeping the vision. And like Kyle mentioned, you're the C4 if a plant gets in. But you basically want to utilize your 1.5 sights holding the entries into the site. Um, all your 1.5s can hold angles onto the guitar door, the B2 door, yep. the big window repel once you call the swing in. Uh, you have angles into VIP that you can double swing if you know a guy is pushed up in there. So I'd say the big thing is just coordinating who's holding which angles. I don't think anybody has a direct responsibility. I think it's between Castle and Alibi usually to hold B2 and guitar doors. Mm -hmm. And Wamai is probably the most in charge of VIP and Alibi is a bit more reactionary with that while Aruni is holding the back side. Now, when a team enters the hookah and fish side to try to clear the back more so, it's more about just helping your teammates and contesting those entries. Because if the other team gets all that control, with five alive, you're probably going to lose the round. So yeah. if they're trying to enter hookah side, you just you basically just start rotating and trying to help your homies. Yeah. Um, Alibi will probably play in the VIP hall. Usually has an angle that can look, you know, see door. Yep. Uh, Castle will try to play around luggage. Top white can help the fish side. And Mira, it's a bit tougher as Mira. Uh, <laughs> I was usually playing Goyo, but Mira can kind of rotate down, maybe look for a C4, try to help lower. You can also swap that with Castle even, if you're scared to go down there as a one, uh, one speed. But you're basically trying to rotate and just take whatever whatever fight you can, uh, usually together so that you can trade out and get the round down to a 3v3. Because once you can get it down to a 3v3, then you can back up a bit more to maybe VIP, yes. into penthouse, into theater and just kind of play your long angles, and the other team won't have enough numbers to kind of break down the setup. So now we're gonna show you guys the round from Invite where we played against TSM. Uh, you heard the two kind of takes that I mentioned. TSM does a bit more from hookah and fish side, trying to clear the map, and this is our reaction to it. So prep phase, gonna be a little more. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can, if you didn't kind of follow along like <clears throat> on the uh, the one note, because it can be a little confusing, you can kind of see it in action here. Mm -hmm. See what people are doing. Yeah. I always find the easiest way. Yeah, so on to keep in mind from what we showed on the one note, Oryx is essentially re replaced by Alibi, and Goyo is essentially replaced by Mira. It'd be probably pretty tough to run this with Goyo still. I don't think there's enough places to put his canisters. Yeah. Definitely not that are safe enough. Um, so you just kind of want to see for replacement. Mira is probably the best. And because of that, you need somebody else to bring a shield because you need to have that pot shield. You don't necessarily need to have the shield that's in penthouse here yeah. Uh, yeah, by the rotate. Need, you don't need that one. But yeah. My circle go. So all set up. Um, yeah, TSM just kind of opening up. They're just going to go to the roof, open a big window, open the B2 hatch. But you can already see majority of them are on the hookah side, yeah. fish hookah side. Yeah, and achieved just threw a drone to the roof there, probably for his late round, and then he's getting ready to come help over here. Yeah. So at this point, Paul is probably calling for help. His windows are starting to get open. Fish is getting open, so yeah. he'll let the castle know. Look, castle's coming over here to kind of put pressure. Yep. On and the fish bow. Already downstairs, trying to look to maybe get a C4 on this guy coming in. Um, so we call that he enters fish. I hear it on the cam, and I'm just playing in office listening for, for sound. Maybe I can get a C4 on this guy. He has to back up off just because they open up the uh, top art window here. Now we get that C4 kill. We get the C4 on the guy fish. I know a guy's big window. We know we release some fish pressure. There's probably going to be a guy. We know there's probably going to be a guy trying to enter hookah or cool vibe. Um, yeah. Tyler actually probably called that the hookah door isn't open. Yeah, because say Tyler has a really strong spot here because hookah's not being open. So, I mean, these guys are able to just kind of play a complete crossfire. We just relieve the pressure from fish and so no one's really going to be pushing through here. It's just window pressure. So this guy can just tuck. We don't need to take any fights. There's nothing hookah. 
So these, like we're in a really good spot here to just kind of waste a lot of their time until they have another entry. Yep. So Tyler and Paul are gonna play that crossfire. I think I'm trying to coordinate with Nick to maybe pressure the guy in the white window. Tyler trades out. Yeah, I think he ran out, ran out of the door. Yep. A ton of trades happening here, which I think is like the most important thing, on, especially on this side, it's basically a death match. We're yep. all helping each other everywhere, just trying to get to like low numbers. Yep, and that's what we mentioned is, the goal is basically to get it down to like a 3v3, 3v2, something like this. So once we got these kind of numbers, I'm making the call fall back, like we can just play the setup now, because with only two alive, they won't have enough to break our theater setup. So we want to back up, we want to play by the penthouse bomb, we want to play in VIP, Yes. And we want to force them to either rotate to the VIP side or commit to this white 90 side kind of attack. And we'll adjust kind of our rotations depending on what they're doing. But we have, basically we have the angles to win this round and we're just going to kind of try to play into that. Um, so Merc looks like he's outside VIP Balk actually. Yeah, they're just kind of looking, trying he's to get just, a pick out yeah, of this. He's trying to drone and figure out where he wants to go. Geo's playing top white, he's just gonna try to make a hole. I think Geo's, he wants to get a kill first, hopefully, but his end goal is probably gonna be pushing into theater and maybe he can get a plant in there or just push through it. Yep. So we know that Geo is top white. And again, they can't really push down this hall just because of all the help we have from like the bomb spot, VIP. Paul's really just like calling sound and a little bit kind of baiting a bit. Yep. Uh, just so this guy would push down the hall right into our kind of line of sight that we kind of set up. Yep, he takes contact and I can kind of react off of what he's calling. This penthouse bomb guy is basically just reacting to both theater and VIP calls. And then last guy comes into theater, Nick trades a guy on me. All right, that's gonna be it for the video guys. That's the uh, penthouse strat. Hope to see it in every ranked game soon. Guaranteed 100% win rate. I'm not gonna say that. I'm taking that back, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's gonna be it guys. That's the strat on coastline penthouse. Hope to see it in every rent game. If you guys enjoyed it and liked it, uh, please remember to subscribe, comment, like, hit the bell, everything that YouTube provides. And if there's any other strat ideas that you wanna see or any videos, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Till the next one.